everyone, welcome to Information with Tepiso. I am Tepiso Wagamichana and I'm not running solo today. I have a wonderful lady as you can see already. Her name is Andy Dino. She is a podiatry student. She is in her third level and she's here to share her journey with us. And yeah, Andy, welcome. Thank you. What is podiatry? Um, I believe podiatry is more like a um, field of study that focuses in the treatment, the surgery of mainly the lower limb and the foot and in diagnosing and treating also in terms of uh, educating patients about conditions of the lower limb. So yeah, that's pretty much what defines it. Okay. So you had guys, um, if you don't understand, you can check her Instagram page. I will put um, her Instagram handle in the description below so that you go to her page and check for the definition and more information, right? Um, so tell us, um, where would you work uh, at when you qualify or when you finish or complete your podiatry qualification? Well, with podiatry, it kind of depends. Uh, but you have options like going to work in a public sector. Mm -hmm. um, you can go work um, in the private, and you can also start your own surgery. Even though there might be a few like challenges in terms of money and mm -hmm. being able to, you know, obviously when you have to start a surgery, you need uh, funding. You need to have money to buy equipment and all of that. Because now it means you're going to be functioning on your own, mm -hmm. and it means you need to fund yourself. Um, Though, on the public sector, when we look, you're most probably going to be hired in the tertiary sector mm -hmm. other than in the primary sector. Primary, we mentioning things like clinics and all of that. So you're most probably going to be working in hospital and big hospitals instead of primary sectors. Because we have literally like one out of five podiatrists in primary. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So what are the subjects that one needs to do in high school to qualify to get into well, I'd say it's science stream, though there is main that they usually focus in. Mm -hmm. um, main would be biology, would be uh, physical sciences, and they do not accept maths leads, so you yes, have to do maths pure, okay. and then you'd have to have um, English. I mean, the rest are not really important. Though they may play a role in terms of when you now have to be assessed that when they have to now look at things like how do they now calculate your APS and all of that. So. Oh, perfect. Yes. And then coming to APS, remember we have what you call NSC levels, the yes. levels that one gets in their metric. Do you can you please go through them for us for those major subjects that they require to understand? Okay, them? so for you to be admitted in podiatry, um, you need to have a level five of English. Mm -hmm. Uh, you need to have a level 4 of maths, you need to have a level 4 of physical sciences, and you need to have a level 4 of life orientation. Sorry, of life sciences. Oh, life sciences. And then those are the only four considered in terms of the NC levels, NC, yeah. in terms of what levels are they focusing on, and then mm -hmm. the rest are not really important. Though how you perform, I think, would uh, judge how your APS then becomes. So, oh, okay. All right, and then you did mention that um, the, the they, they look at maths, English, life science, and physical sciences, right? Yes. Do you know how they calculate their APS and what the APS okay, is? Okay, um, I'm thinking when it comes to the APS, because there are schools that do over eight subjects. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of how the APS is then um, counted and all of that, they focus on six subjects, excluding okay. your life orientation. Okay. So that would include your maths, that would include your physics, that would include your life sciences, your English, your VANEC, and whatever other subject that you may have done. Some people would be doing accounting in high school, others mm. will be doing geography, but they all need to at least add up to an APS of 28, excluding that life orientation. But then any other subjects that you might be doing will also be excluded with life orientation because they're only focusing on sex. Oh, they're only focusing on sex. So that's what they used when they were admitting you into yes. the program. Okay. Uh, okay, interesting. So basically what you're telling us is that they don't only focus on the four 
the four is the major, is the major and then there's the ones others that they, that they add well. to. But then the other ones help now put you at a certain APS level okay. that will then now give you the opportunity to be accepted in the film. Because you may get um, the minimum requirements in terms of the NC levels, but if your APS doesn't reach to 28, and then you will not be accepted because you have not reached the minimum APS score that is required for the film. Okay, so what is the APS, the minimum APS score for? Uh, Pediatry allows a minimum of 28 APS score, okay. so which is taken or obtained from the module, not from the subject count that they would have done with the six subjects. Oh, okay. Yes. And then um, once you qualify at, uh, uh, or once you, you, you complete your, 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 your port qualification, yes. are you now called a podiatrist or a podiatrician or, or Okay, what? so um, you're working to become a podiatrist okay. and that's how you're going to be referred to. Uh, when you're done because remember you are a medical practitioner mm -hmm. not necessarily a doctor mm -hmm. but you'll be more like a foot specialist because oh, okay. it's, it's more specific than how other fields are so it's just you will be dealing or treating the lower limb and the foot so you're going to be more like a foot specialist oh, okay. or a medical practitioner interesting then are you able to further your studies or do any other degree apart from podiatry using podiatry can you get into other fields well with podiatry you can be able to go and be um you can but depends where actually because you can study further to become a podiatric surgeon but if you happen to want to reach to that level, you will not be practicing in South Africa, obviously, because it doesn't allow the scope of practice for podiatrists to practice surgery. So it means if you go to the United Kingdom, to the UK, New Zealand, and I think Canada, that's when they can allow you to perform podiatric surgery. Okay. So with South Africa, then becomes a limit. So oh. you need to have a certain education to be in surgery, but you can't perform it as a podiatric surgeon. And then you can also be in um, orthopedics. You can do. You can be more into the manufacturing of simple inner soles. You can do it independently outside podiatry. Like either choose to either practice as a podiatrist or be one person whom every other podiatrist is now going to order a simple inner sole from you because you're going to be doing custom made for them and all sorts. Okay, so you will get to know. And it also, uh, sorry, just to no get out, it also gives you um, an opportunity mm -hmm. to continue with medicine through mm -hmm. GAMP, meaning okay. you're able to start medicine in third, fourth year with mm -hmm. your background of pediatric medicine, provided that you pass well and they set in the comments that they need, but you're able to continue and go to medicine without starting a fridge oh, with right. the background of pediatric medicine. So they will medicine. definitely credit you for, for some, some subjects. of the modules that you okay. did. Yes. If you need more information in relation to how you can, you know, gravitate from or you can migrate from pot into medicine, the GAMP program, um, her, pro her Instagram handle has all the information and make sure that you go there, you engage here, then you get the right answers, right? Okay, so what um, other selection criteria do they use um, to admit you into podiatry apart from your metric results? Well, with us, it's a little bit different from others because mm -hmm. I know with uh, courses like radiography, career path, you would have to undergo an interview, oh. you would have to go do work shadowing. Mm -hmm. With us, it's simply really your APS and grace, honestly, because even in selection level, they do not select a lot of us. I think each and every year they select about 38 to 40 students. Okay. So it's like you were in a competition with others, mm -hmm. which I can't really say you need to get the highest marks mm -hmm. to be selected over the other person. So I'm not sure about the selection criteria in terms of what exactly does it depend on. Mm -hmm. But these cases where a person meets the minimum requirements but still doesn't get space. Yeah, yeah. So I think they have their manner or way of selecting in terms of how they then choose the 40 out of the 200 applications that they may yeah, possibly yeah, yeah. be having. Okay. okay, so coming to university, right? 
the first year? What are the courses that you do in first year for podiatry? Well, um, the modules that we cover in first year would be your basic physics mm -hmm. and chemistry. It's literally in its basic form, it's not in depth. Mm -hmm. um, you also cover your microbiology, you're going to do your anatomy and physiology, you're going to have clinical practice one, uh, practical and theory side. Practical would obviously be you going to the clinic, practicing a patient doctor thing upon yourself. It's like, I'm going to be your patient and you're going to be my patient as a student. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's when we start developing our skills. And then we have modules like Part Medicine 1, mm -hmm. which then now focuses more on pathologies and all of that. Okay. So those are the ones that we usually cover in first year. Okay, so after qualifying as a podiatrist, yes. um, what is the minimum wage or what minimum service did you get? Well, the other time when we had to ask our um, lecturer, she said that about around 2020 to 2019, the minimum that was in in public was about 25k and more okay. but then it depends because when you start if you're going to go and work for the public you're going to start as a level one podiatrist oh. so it's like it goes with levels and your level will obviously determine how much that you're going to earn oh. but i believe when you now work independently then it changes the whole thing because now it's going to depend about how many patients do you have monthly and how many people are coming to you and what exactly are you focusing on because you can either choose to be a sports pediatrist focused on sports alone you can either in engage or involve yourself with uh, diabetic patients you can either choose to work with um, children and in, in whatever conditions that they may be suffering from mm -hmm. so that also I think that minds in terms of how much you can make because with diabetic you're obviously going to make a lot of money since there's going to be invitations that are taking place there. There's going to be managing of the diabetic food, which I believe is expensive and is not as cheap as people would when they have to go for public. So mm -hmm. when people yeah. are coming to private, it's a little bit much more. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to be focusing on one thing, then it means you're going to be any more due to the fact that there's a lot of people actually suffering from diabetic yeah, food yeah, problems yeah. and all of that. Oh, such an interesting <laughs> qualification. You yeah, know, hey. yeah. Um, <laughs> All right, so do you know if there are uh, funding for your specific qualification or like one that is general but also gives funding? Okay, to so NESPIS does fund um, podiatry students, mm -hmm. though there may be uh, challenges in terms of some people may not be accepted, some people may be um, declined due to certain reasons. So there's usually one that they offer to podiatry students, which is HWCTA. HWCTA. Yes, so okay, the cool. HWCTA is usually, it's, it, do, it does accommodate everyone, but they would rather give it to those who may have not gotten like funding from Nesfus uh, and all of that. Okay. So it's more like if you couldn't get this, because Nesfus is more like it covers most of us as podiatry mm -hmm. students, mm -hmm. and then those who had difficulties in funding or those who were dropped by Nesfus for whatever reasons that mm -hmm. they may be having, then they know that they can get HWCTA. There's one other which I'm not sure about, but mm -hmm. um, yeah. Once you've researched about no it, problem. you will send it to me and then I'll tell them. Okay, um, so how has your journey been with this qualification from first year or from matric first year and until now? Well, I don't want to lie, it's been interesting, okay. though a little bit challenging. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a beautiful journey. Mm -hmm. I've learned a lot and I've, I've learned to even apply certain skills. Mm -hmm. And I think the one thing that makes it more interesting than ever is the fact that it's, it's more application than mm -hmm. just theory in terms of whatever that you're going to be taught on theory side. Then when you go to hospitals, that's when you become more practical about it. Mm -hmm. How do I treat a patient? How do I tackle this? So time and again, when we see patients at this point, I feel you are not developing the skill of being an independent person to mm -hmm. think, okay, so if I as a podiatrist, I'm faced with this certain condition, how do I now look into this? Mm -hmm. So you have to think more of yourself than what you were taught in, taught in class because remember in class it's just a lot of bunch of notes and you know, but now you need to be more practical because some of the conditions may be what you were taught in class but they may present a little bit different but now you need to now be more critical, mm -hmm. you need to be 
in that position where you think a lot and you reason so it's like you grow in the field first year was pretty much fine because it was still the basics of everything and it's like it was the background of okay so this is this and it starts like this and then second year was more like now you start applying you start putting more other than just a lot of bunch of notes and you know and just knowing now it becomes more of okay so i have a patient i have this so how do I perform this? Mm -hmm. How do I treat this? How you know? How do mm -hmm. I diagnose? How do I even get to a diagnosis? Mm -hmm. You become more into the field, so it's like you grow every other part. So every other year becomes, it's like something is added to your cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Some there's sugar, there's milk. Mm -hmm. So it's like with each and every year, it's, it's like the more you go up, the more it becomes interesting. And even though it becomes a little bit challenging in other modules, mm -hmm. and you can get a little bit overwhelmed at times, mm -hmm. but you learn and you learn to, it's not even just about the challenge, but it's about how you tackle it at the end of the day and how you're able to say, okay, but at least I managed to do this. Yeah, so yeah. at the end of the day, it brings that fun that I managed to treat this, you yeah. know, how are you treating this? So it's, it's fun, really. Okay, so with that being said, um, if, if you encounter anything to do with the lower limb, yes. would you be able to treat yourself or you have to go to another podiatrist? Well, <laughs> there's usually as you say that <laughs> I don't have to be happy. Okay. But uh, I think it depends on what exactly. Mm -hmm. Because let's say I had uh, a knee sprain, all of that. I obviously can't do all of the assessments that are required to myself because I'm most probably not going to be lying in the correct manner now mm -hmm. that I'm doing it to myself. Okay. So certain things, it's just... You know when you know mm -hmm. but it's like you're not doing it the right way mm -hmm. or in the right manner but there's things that you can uh, start doing better things like you can now advise yourself to wear more uh, suitable shoes where you can advise yourself in terms of things that you need to avoid because some other conditions are actually caused by things like shedding of showers so you educate yourself okay. so even though there's certain things you can't treat for yourself but there's certain things that you can prevent yeah, yeah. or run away from doing because now you know that okay but if i do this it means i you know so you can also educate yourself and you learn in the process oh very interesting like i i even feel like I, i'm <laughs> going to study podiatry from here okay my lady thank you so much for the in-depth information that you have given us um any word of encouragement to our viewers you know, okay. You've come all this point to this point, you know, at listening to you. Yeah. It okay. means they are. Yeah. Uh well, in terms of words of encouragement, I'd like to encourage people to come to podiatry. <laughs> of course, things need to be your passion because yeah, yeah. I believe passion is what leads us to our destiny. Because mm -hmm. without the love of something, then it's why is it even worth doing? You know? Yeah. Yeah. But we need more podiatrists, guys, so that we can help save the country, we can help save a lot of unnecessary amputations that are being done. And because the field is still developing on the yeah. side of the country, mm -hmm. so my word of encouragement is that people should work hard to get to whatever cost. It doesn't have to be podiatry specifically, but people need to work as hard to obtain the required APS and not just get the minimum level. Yeah. to strive as high because yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. remember you were in a competition mm -hmm. maybe not with yourself but remember now in terms of selection now yeah. they need to consider certain things so the always put yourself on yeah. a high so that you can always strive for the best yeah. and yeah see you in the instagram page okay ladies and gentlemen that is it with podiatry from our lady andy Lee. you had it please go to her instagram page and do the right thing right engage here and we will see you in the next upload with the next guest that we're having she's also in podiatry so more information coming this is information with sepiso i'm your lady sepiso and thank you for watching